Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, are you tired of the Americans getting all the fun? Because I sure am. Uh, basically, if you didn't know already, the Americans get all of the Alexa skills about six billion years before the rest of us. So if you live in France or Germany or the UK or any of those places, uh, you will be thinking to yourself, I know, I'll install the Broadlink skill that everyone's going on about. But you can't, because Amazon hate you. Uh, well, here I am to save the day. I'm going to show you how you can actually get it working, whether Amazon like it or not. And it's not really me saving the day, it's a guy called Richard Long who uh, messaged me and said, Paul, do you know this thing exists? And I went, no, that sounds brilliant. Uh, but anyway, not only can you now install any skill that you like, regardless of what country you're in, you can also get the call feature working, which I know is a massive deal for loads of you. Uh, so if you want to make phone calls via Alexa, or you want to install skills that are from other countries, this is the video for you. Enjoy. So before we begin, I wanted to show you I'm not cheating. There are no tricks up my sleeve. If I open up the Amazon Alexa app, you'll see that I can't make voice calls. There should be a little icon at the bottom in the middle, but there isn't. Uh, that's because I'm in the UK and Amazon, for some reason, hates the UK. Uh, yeah, don't know why. Who knows? Uh, who cares? Because I'm just going to cheat. So what we'll do now is we'll uh, switch to the PC. And we're going to visit the Amazon website and we're going to go to accounts and lists and then we're going to go to do 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 manage your contents and devices and then settings and then where it says United Kingdom we're just going to change and we're going to tell them that we've moved to the United States of America in New York, New York, no less. Uh, so if you don't already have an address in the States you can just use this church that I found on Google. Um, yeah, that seems like a good place to live. So I'm going to update that. Uh, you get a little message here uh, that I'm now going to press the update button for because I don't care what it says. All I want is to be treated with the same respect as the Americans. Is that too much to ask? There shouldn't be too much to ask, Amazon, you jerks. Um, so I've now transferred to Amazon.com, which means I can actually buy things from Amazon.com. Uh, they will, of course, be delivered to uh, my address in the United States, where I don't actually live because I don't live in a church. Um, but never mind, that's not why we did this. So the reason we did this is because if I now open up the Alexa app and it uh, loads up again, should... Hehehe, <laughs> what's that? That's cheating, that's what that is. You can now call and message your friends. Brilliant, thanks. Uh, so I've done this for the second time now because uh, I did this once to make sure it actually worked. Uh, you guys will get like a little setup thing where it'll ask you for your phone number. Just put in your uh, your normal mobile phone number for the UK. So we obviously don't want to be stuck in the United States forever, otherwise this church is going to end up with all our stuff. <laughs> so we're now going to switch ourselves back to the UK, which actually doesn't break this, which is ridiculous. So basically we can enable all this stuff uh, and then put ourselves back in the UK without breaking all that stuff. So that's what we're going to do now. Uh, I'm now Amazon.com, you'll notice, but I just go to the same place and go to uh, do, 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 your contents and devices. Uh, back to settings and then change from United States back to your normal home address in your own country. Now what you'll find is this leaves your Kindle set up in the United States of America and if you change your Kindle back to the UK uh, then it, all this breaks, it goes back to normal again. Um, so I'll just evidence to you if for some reason you ever need to change this back uh, so it's exactly the same as it always was. Maybe you're a big Kindle user and it breaks something that I don't know about. Just to be on the safe side, I'll show you how to put it back. Uh, if you go to manage your content and devices at amazon.co.uk instead of .com, now that you've done it, you'll notice you don't have these three tabs at the top that you had before. But you'll see a little note here to say, and it's buggered off just to piss me off, your default Kindle store is currently set to amazon.com. Go to manage your content and devices at amazon.com. And then it says great news, you can now shop for digital content directly from amazon.co.uk and you click that. And you can transfer your Kindle account back to amazon.co.uk instead of .com and you're no longer living in the United States at all then. Uh, but that will stop the call features working and it will stop you being able to search for American uh, skills on the, Am on the Alexa app. Uh, that's it. That's it. You are done. You can now be treated with all the same respect as the Americans are and get all of the things that Amazon thinks that you shouldn't get as a citizen of the United Kingdom or Germany or wherever you are because this will work for you wherever you are. Uh, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. And as usual, I'll see you next time. 
thanks, thanks for this one. <laughs> On any device, in your they were gonna drama. <laughs> I make weird noises. Uh, so I got contacted by a guy who is a dude. What? <laughs> but not only that, also the voice calling feature. So if you're a uh, so if you've been waiting for that, fine, you're my. But I'm just jabbering on, just jabbering on. Jazz hands, check out my jazz hands. You can't. On <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here's to ten billion takes for one short sentence. God damn it!